Good morning. Baller! Or good afternoon. Oh, let's... let's go here. Fat Five Tournament, sorry for yesterday. I fucked up a bit. And forget to... to generate the clips for the games. Anyway, let's go over the Fat Five League again. We are 40% done with the regular season. After today, we'll actually be 70% done with the regular season and we'll finish up the regular season on Friday. Next week, week will be dedicated for the, for the playoffs. Um, out of the 48 teams, 30 to make it to the playoffs. Can't shooters here on the bubble currently. <clears throat> Each team will play one time against the other 47 teams before we get to the playoffs playoffs so it would be fair there's no home court advantage or anything <coughs> sorry um yeah uh standings currently let's go to the top 10 again the sneak empire in first basket towns and elite rebels tied for second um yeah just to remember you it's um Currently not uh, sorted, but with the tiebreaker, it is yeah based on what? No, it's sorted alphabetically, so not sure which one of those two teams is actually number two. We'll find it out when once we get to the playoffs. Yeah, uh, another Maki team here in top 10. Elite Rebels followed by Rebels in training in the fourth. Uh, Lord Wipers, uh, Misfit Toys, and Thift. Actually tied Thift and Six with Juicebox Boys. Gabe Resist team. Seamarks, here comes Treble in seventh. High five, that is Gabe Baldy. Ninth Lopez one, first of Lopez's teams. And closing out the top ten, we got Turek White Fan Club. 14 wins, four losses for Flose's team. Make those rebels. Four rebels teams all in in the playoffs current thing. We'll see if it continues that well for Maki. We will have 15 days worth of games today. So, let's see. 21 is the first day. We'll watch like 10 games. Check out the stats and standings from time to time. Yeah, let's do like five days, then check out stats and standings. Let's do. Let's do three games. In those five five days since I know Lord Wiper is probably watching let's um, hey. misfit toys let's uh, show the game between misfit toys and stonkies first A lot of the season left, so standings can change pretty quickly. Some teams might have had just easier schedules to start out. And vice versa. Hmm. Close game here. Might get you to see some clips. A lot of lead changes. Back and forth we go. Three, two minutes to go. Misfit toys up by four. 79 to 75. 
Susie Q going for a low post shot. Whose player is to Susie Q? Oh, must be, yeah, on the, on the Misfit Toys team. Susie gives the mid ranger a six point lead with a minute 46 to go for the Misfit Toys. Samuel Stunk attempting a Lopo shot on the other side. Stunkies are still in this one. He gets, gets to go down. Oof, tough miss. Who gets the rebound? Well, blocked by smiles, I mean. Offensive rebound. Okay, this is the last shot for Stunkies if they miss it. Something stunk, elevating for a shot at the rim. If it goes, it cuts the lead to four. Four point lead for Misfit Toy Stunkies. Still in this one. Red Riding Hood. Going for the dagger triple here. Goes up, it goes down. That is the dagger. Seven point lead, not enough time left for the Stunkies. 86, 79 Misfit Toys getting the win here. Let's see the box score. Losing side first on their top two. Did pretty well. Samuel Stunk, 28 points. And Samson Stunk was 26. For Misfit Toys, more balance scoring. Everyone in double figures. Suzy Q, 21. Lady Coat, 21. Larry Lizard, 18. Oh, nice line for Suzy Q. 21 points, 13 assists, 5 rebounds. Okay, and let's um, get this. Um, stay published here all right move on to the next one twenty two we'll publish this one and then show game from here run the one unless uh, there's a team you want to see. If you want to see your team, drop it in the chat. I will make sure we'll watch their game on stream. But right now, FNG Silver going against High Five. Close one. High five team has been surprisingly good at the start of the season. One point game. Let's see Fritz Golden in here. I think that is Effigy's bowler. No, actually, she is on the 
High five team. Goes for the triple. Defense was there and it didn't go down. Elmer the rejector does get the offensive rebound. Mark Eden gets his shot. Find, Mark finds his spot. It's a two pointer, so high five. Up by one now. 53 seconds to go. Deshaun Beaverson on the other side. Oof, tough miss for FH's team. Mark Aiden with the defensive rebound here. That would still give high five the lead miss here and game over high five gets the win 68 to 65 for FG Silver, we got this Sean Bieberson with 25, Johnny Blazer 19 on the winning team. Mark Eden 22 points, Elmer the Rejector 14 points, 6 blocks, 17 rebounds. Pretty nice line there. Okay, published 23. Danny 24 and we'll watch a game from day 25 then publish it check out standings stats okay random team uh, random game widget uh, windmills going against pencil sharpeners can't remember who who has the pencil sharpeners team some pretty good games to start off. Today's stream. Windmill Swift lead. Can the pencil sharpeners get back into the game here? Oof, rough game for the sharpeners. Windmills take it 83 to 72. For the pencil sharpeners, we got Shane Brady with 20, Lizard Cambage 18, Sonia Soul 17, and for the winning windmills, Cal Amari 31 points, 14 rebounds, did a little bit of everything. Aaron Baines with 20 points and 13 assists. Okay. Day 25, publish, and let's see how the standings are shaping up. Mm. The Sneak Camper taking a couple of sneaky losses, or yeah, two losses, I think. Basket Towns moving to the top spot. 21 wins, 3 losses. Elite Rebels third still. High five moving up as well as Lopez one. Misfit Toys and Lopez one still sharing the fifth and sixth spot. 
no, 57 actually with the same record, 20 wins, 5 losses. Their white fan club moves into 8th place. Here comes Treble 9th and Choose Box Boys going down a little bit, dropping to the 10th spot. Lopez 2 and 3 making some moves close to moving into that top 10. BTG's Snicker Fritz here, Tiger's Fab Nuts. I think Fab Nuts won it last season. If I remember it correctly. Hey, my team. Moving into playoffs. Who's on the bubble? Rebel rejects on, on the bubble currently. In the bottom here, we find Effigy, Tungsten, and Ball Fireball. Stats who is leading in points? Uh, Larry Lizard, 20.6. Elmer, the Rejector, 20.3 rebounds per game. Tasha Cream, 15.7 assists. See field gold percentage. I see pop still on top. 54.2. Paul Rodman shooting 58.8% from beyond dark. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, let's watch another three games and publish five days. Okay, who are we picking here? Basket Towns. Let's uh, let's take this one. Effigy Gold going against Basket Towns. GM Blood. <laughs> GM Flose. Um, I was just reading. <laughs> yep. GM to me as well. Well, good evening. Actually, it's 7 p.m. here, where I am. Yeah, FG Gold going against Basket Towns. Basket Towns were the top team. Currently, let's see if um, FG Gold can change that. looking good for FG Gold. Basket Hounds take it easily with a 19 point win 80 6 to 67 for FG. Chris Block had 20. Luke Rockhard 19 points 11 rebounds and for the Basket Hounds Julius Berry 24 points 5 assists 2 blocks 11 rebounds Larry Lanier, 24 points as well. What was the day? 26. And publish. Publish the... Oh, yeah. Bug in day 27 that we have to get removed by Friday. Um, Okay, so number two, 28, and then we'll watch a game from here, from 29. Let's see Lopez 3 going against Chile Rebels. Should be an interesting one.
see Nick Rebels in the lead. And Chi League Rebels take the low scoring game 61 to 52. For Lopez 3, Harry Henderson with 20 points and 10 rebounds. For Maki, we got Crazy Hands with 17. Mr. Dimes with 12 points and 10, 10 assists here. And we'll publish all the games from day 29. Should be on track now, so we'll watch some more games. A um, couple of the last ones have been blowouts, kinda. So, so let's watch a game from every day. Let's pick this one. Hoops, I did it again, going against seven one seven reps. Kind of low scoring, I guess. Oops, I did it again with the lead currently. And as I say, it's 717, take the lead. Oh, we got a close one. 717 reps up by five, two minutes to go. Let's see what Funky Fred will do. He hits it, so to a seven point game we go. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Not sure if Hoops, I did it again, can get back into this one. No, they can't. Nine point win for 717 reps, 66 to 57. Okay, okay. Box score for Hoops, I did it again. Sky Hero with 17, Red with 13. 717 reps, Charlie Drama 19 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds, Funky Fred 17 points, and that was day 30, I think. Yep, let's publish this and move on to day 31. We haven't we seen we haven't seen Jerry White fan fan club. So let's uh, show Blose his highest uh, ranked club right now. Well, the stunk is with the lead, though. Hmm. 
sorry, Flose might have gave you that well-known streamer chinks um, as your game gets absolutely blown out by 23 points. 79 to 56 is the final score as Donkeys get the win. I think Stunkies uh, lost the last game we watched today where they were in. Nessa and Rogue 16, Dragon 16 for Flose. For Stunky, Stamil Stunk with 23 and Samantha Stunk with 20. Whose team is Stunky's actually? I want to know. I'm not sure. 707. It's one of the borders there. Oh, this. One of Tisco's teams. Okay. So this was day 31. Let's get this one published and check out the standings and stats. Sneak Emperor has been falling a little bit. Basket Towns, Elite Rebels and I high five all with 25 wins and 4 losses on top here. Third point fan club lost one. So sharing fourth and fifth with the Sneak Empire. Lopez won, 23 wins, 7 losses with Toys, 22 wins and 7 losses. Rebels in training dropping to 8th. Actually sharing 7th and 8th with 22 wins and 7 losses. Juicebox Boys, 21 wins, 7 losses. 9th and 10th Lopez Tree. 20 wins and 9 losses, so Maki and Lopez both have two, t two teams in top 10. Here comes Treble as the team that dropped out. They're 12th currently. Stunkies, the winners of the last game. 18 wins and 10 losses. What's it looking like on the bubble? Looks like my commissioner's choice is pretty much on the bubble right now. It's a team and on the bottom, average tungsten still with just one win. Ball fire, fireball fire with two wins, straight trash with two wins. Everyone else, um, a little bit more. Everyone still with a chance to make the playoffs, a lot of games left. Yeah, let's keep it going five more days to do before we end fab five here 30, 31 let's go with 32 random game Let, let's go with my team going against bpg's team i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get this right here uh, the Snickle first team is pretty good hanging around that 15th spot. My team trying to make the playoffs. Would want to take the L here, but I think that is the way it's going to go. Nickel Prince ahead up by 10 with a minute go to go. Oof, we're gonna score it all uh, 63 to 48. Snickle Fritz getting the win for me. Korg X Dane Bowler 22 points for B 
BTG's Snickle Fritz. We've got Count Dunkula with 16. Liz Lemon, 13. Of Count Dunkula had 3 blocks and 20 rebounds as well. Huh. I just remembered that I, I didn't watch the stats after after them after we watch the standings so oh we gotta update them as well let's see have they changed Christoph Middleton moving to the top scorer spot 19.6 per game Elmer the rejector still on top of the rebounds 20 per game with went Superman who is second three rebounds behind don't think Elmer will be giving up that spot Erica Wheeler moving back on top with assist 15.4 compared to Dasha Green's 14.7 field goal percentage Icy Pop giving up the top spot. Rose on top 52.9. I think that that is a baller on Dagger's team. Four Rice dropping 3.5 triples per game. And Paul Rodman making 50% of his triples. Um, I watched the game here. Let's get this published. Move to day 33. Let's watch the first game here. BPRC team going against LNC Fab. Fab with the lead currently. Might be an interesting game. Both teams on the bottom side of the of the standings right now, but this might change. Now let's see Fab. Getting to win 75 to 67 against PPRC team. The Big Bird 18, Curry 16 for PPRC. LNC Fab, the Ballers 26 points, 6 assists, and 22 rebounds and 3 blocks. Insane line here from the Ballers, probably the best one I've seen today. Cowlick 23. Cowlick doesn't have a a Cowlick. Hmm. Interesting. Let's uh, publish day 33. We got three days to go here on today's stream. That means three games. Choose box boys going square going against Squid and friends. Low scoring game, a 
in a close game. We were almost tied at half. Fourth quarter, and yeah, Shoesbucks boys ran away with it in the end, so no need to slow down. Winning 63 to 52. For Sweden friends, Wait Python and Franco Sheen both with 12 points. Choose box boys, 26 points for Rough Rider. For Naku Boy, 10 points and 17 rebounds. Mermaid Man close to a triple double. Oh. Did he really have 14 steals or maybe it was just 14 turnovers? Interesting. Thirty-four. Let's publish. We haven't seen the Sneak Emperor today, so let's see how they do against Beat Brooksy Brent Ballers number two. The Sneak Emperor with, with a 10 point lead to start out the fourth quarter. Yeah, P. Crooksy not getting close enough to watch some plays. The Sneak Emperor winning 78 to 68. For Brooksy, some breezy. 21 points, frosted tips with 19. And for the sneak, Paul Rodman, 20 points, 11 rebounds. Well done, Dad. 19 points and 13 rebounds. Let's um, let's do the last game. Well, first, we got um, published day thirty-five, and we'll do day thirty-six as well. There's that one day we couldn't do. Hmm. Who to pick? Let's go with this one. Clock stoppers, Don Flacco's, Tacos, Tacos. Clock stoppers, whip them. Early lead, but Don Flacco's tacos come back at the half. They have a nice third quarter, and they are up by 10 at the start of the fourth. Can clock stoppers stop the clock, maybe, and get back into the game here? Yeah, not looking good. Last game today, so let's watch those last so shots here. Yep, 
yeah right after this I'll, I'll take a five minute break um, to set up everything everything for for the Wales League stream I'm gonna change the, the window size a little bit miss here by funky dunk on the clock stoppers team eat bad baldy with defensive rebound and clock zombie hold on Oh, this is the clock stoppers team. Funky Dunk was on Don Flacco's tacos. Clock Zombie hits triples. We got a game, kinda. 76 to 80. Well, there's a there's a small like 0 0.000. .00 one possible possibility that if clock, clock stoppers they play this play defense this well uh, they are still in it four seconds to go on the clock zombie with the block it's so early bird accepting a triple Shot goes up, but a miss. Sorry, clock stoppers. Tom Flacco's tacos take this one 80 to 76. For the clock stoppers, clock zombie 27 points, big bad baldy 15 points, 15 assists. Don Flacco's tacos, Funky Duck, 30 points, 7 rebounds, Fluke Skywalker with 19, and Brianna Brinka with 17 points and 13 rebounds. Okay, let's get the 36 here published. Check up the standings and stats. So on Friday we'll finish up rest of the regular season. Basket Towns, Elite Rebels on top here. 30 wins and 4 losses for, for both of them. Mm, Derek White Fan Club. I think they started at 10th at, at the start of the stream. They have, have moved up to being tied 3rd and 4th with 5-5 five, five here. Rebels in training, they are fifth. I think they started fifth as well. The Sneak Empire dropping from first place to sixth. 26 wins, seven losses. Clopas won, 26 wins and eight losses. Here comes Treble sneaking back into, into top 10 here. 24 wins and eight losses for them. Juice Box Boys at ninth. 24 wins and 9 losses, tied with Misfit Toys at 10. So a small drop here from Misfit Toys. Baby Crocs 11, Lopez 2, 12. Let's see what's happening on the bubble. Hey, my team tied at the bubble with the clock stoppers who, who just lost. Don Flacco making a move upwards here. Hey, fireball fire, getting some wins in. wins now they are still in it a lot of games left trade trash and FG Dunkston both with two wins so far check out the stats update 
you can also go check out the stats and the box scores on the BBL site yourself. Everything should be updated now. Christoph Middleton keeping that off spot after, after the last update. 19.3 points per game. Elmer the rejector, a rejector uh, dropping down down from 20 rebounds to 19.6 but still on top Erica Wheeler 14.9 assists per game we all go percentage Rose on top 53.3 and Paul Wardman 48.1% from Beyond Dark okay so this is what this was the Fat Five stream for today will finish up the regular season like I mentioned on Friday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in five minutes when I boot up the um, the Wales League stream. So yeah, a double header today. See you in five. Bye.